the life of our Father would be So, as the saying goes, if you know better, as the saying goes, if you know better, then you can do better. With you being governor and talking about schools and education, how would you appropriate the funds, not only for like the unified school district, but for like schools like your high school who definitely are in need of, of funding so that the kids can obtain more? So this is a very good question. Everybody's asking me, okay, sounds good, get rid of poverty, all this stuff, where's the money? So here's one of my contentions. I believe there is money. We are the richest state in the union and the eighth largest economy in the world, California. Right. I believe it's just I mean, not being allocated right. I believe it's being used to help rich people. If you go to Live LA, that's a billion dollar project that caters to people with money. Yeah, you might go there to see the Lakers, I get everybody gets there. But you can see the big hotels, you can see all those lights, it's about money. I would say no. The people with corporations, big money, have been taking us for granted and taking our land, taking our money. I would challenge them to give back. One of the things people don't realize is that the prison system is $8 million a year. I would get rid of that prison system and provide treatment, rehabilitation, restorative justice practice. Instead of putting them behind bars, it will be cheaper, and some of those billions will be used for schools. See what I'm saying? It's just a matter of aligning resources with needs. People don't do that in this state, but I would do that. I'll give you one other example of something that's possible. As you know, California's got a lot of oil. It's one of the biggest oil producing states in the world. We're the only place on the planet that does not charge a tax for people to take our oil. The only place. I would put a, a, a tax severance tax on the oil companies. That would be billions of dollars right there. I don't know if you know, but you guys know Sarah Payton from the governor of last time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's kind of kooky and everything. But guess what she did? I know I don't really like her policy, but guess what she did? She put a 25% uh, oil severance tax on the oil companies. They pay for all the services for all Alaskans, the best schools. And not only that, every year, every Alaskan gets a check. Can, if some governor for Payton can do that, I can do better, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I think we can work on making sure that those resources are allocated to meet these needs.